Well, I had to spend an hour in makeup before I came out here, so, you know. You guys. Well, that, are we misbehaving? Okay, now, um, take me there. Am I in? I'm in. So, we are going to, it's 8.40, we're going to start. Good morning, fellow mod pourers. <laughs> This is the beginning of the Google Hangout. Okay, so um, I went to the um, I went to the the um, the poem talk chat and uh, and listened to it. I think Mark, you may have mentioned it. Colleen, you you may have gone yeah. to it too. The thing I noticed was that people have kind of shied away from um, doing a close read of Blues for Alice. They talked around it, but they didn't really do a close read. So. Uh, not to say that we're going to do a close read, but I think it's fair to say that we are um, treading on virgin territory here. Sort of, we're, we're in a new frontier, <laughs> and uh, anything that we um, anything that we end up with, I think is going to be a um, a positive uh, contribution. Uh, so, as I as, as I mentioned yesterday, oh, let me stop and let let, let you all give your opening remarks. <laughs> Mark. Okay. 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 Well, you know, <laughs> you know, as, as you and I were talking a little bit last night, you know, where where I was going with this, as I was looking at it, was from the perspective of form, and particularly the idea of 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 this piece as being a piece of music. I mean, that that's made explicit by the title "Blues for Alice." You know. Um, so, you know, where, where I was particularly interested, you know, less so in a semantic uh, reading, although we're obviously going to work on that as well. But, you know, looking at the question of, okay, well, what in this poem lends to a reading of, or, you know, what particularly in the form of it, lends to a reading of, of form as suggesting music. So, so I have a few thoughts on that we can throw out later. So. All right. And Colleen. Um, I just, I can see music in the form, and they're also used as sound and music, and uh, there are just a lot of really fun words in this piece, and some really great lines, so I think we're going to enjoy doing a close reading of this. Yeah. Um, we're going to start off with the, um, if I can make it work, we're going to start off with listening to uh, Clark Clark Coolidge actually read his poem from the syllabus. So bear with me. Let me see if I can pull this thing right up. And it's my poll plus. And it's the beat week. And let's see if we can make this thing work. Yeah. Clark Coolidge. This is called Blues for Alice. When you get it on a try, you never learn it back. Umpteen times the tenth part of a featured world in black and in back its roses and fostered nail bite rhyme sling slang a song that teaches without travail of the tale the one you longing live and singing burn. It's insane to remain a trope of a rinsing out or a ringing whatever. It's those bells that, and other riskier small day, and fain would be of the soap of sky dares. But we remand that we, a class with the silence, you and I, all of tiny sphering rates back, I say to told wall, back and back and leave my edge and add an L. Night is so enclosed will never turn its page. It's I, can be mine, will be yours, to see all the people, the underneath livid reaching part and past of the lying buildings, the overreacher stops and starts, at in his head, in in her rhythm, that knowledge is past all of us, so we flare and tap and top it right up, constant engage and flap in on, keeping pace, our whelming rift and soil and gleam and give back the voice, like those eerie dead. 
stepped down off our whelm lessons and shortly fired into the bristle strum of corrosion kingdom where the last comes by first every ring, every race through that tunnel of sun drop and pencil in the margins of a flare of higher wish than dare. The stroked calmings of a line will spin and chime in blue quicks of a dream blues, the chores of those whispering gone crenulations. To meet a care is to dial redeem, and we limp in the time sound bombs. So out of kilter is my name in the sun, and I win in the moon, and you sing in that other spelling of win, the way a blue is never singular. Okay, did everybody hear it? Yes. yes. So that worked. So, yes. um, in the, it, we, we're going to have um, three rounds, as I mentioned in, in, the, uh, in the notes, uh, as, as we agreed. Um, the first round will be um, sort of each person um, reading the passage that has some meaning to them and, um, and doing the close read or making comments or however you want to do with, with, the, with the passage that you choose. Uh, it may well be that one or two or three of us choose the same passage, or maybe not. Um, we'll, we'll live with that. Even if we choose, even if all three of us choose the same passage, people, each person will have a different thing to say about it, I think. Uh, so we'll do the, the uh, individual passage, and then we'll sort of ask one another questions about things that we weren't really um, sure about. Uh, and then we'll close up with final words. What do y'all think? Sure. sure. Sounds great. Is anybody uh, anxious to start us off or... How shall we do it? Draw straws. <laughs> Who gets the longest straw? They can do the first stanza. I don't mind starting. I have, I have the, the, the particular piece that I'm really um, attracted by. And um, Mark, I didn't hear you. I said, well, I was going to talk. You know, I was going to talk about the first stanza anyway. So okay, go you know, for I it. I certainly for could start. So again, I was looking at this as a reading of, you know, the question that immediately popped in my mind is, how does this poem relate to, you know, the uh, the Charlie Parker piece, you know? So, you know, it, it, I'll try not to be too pedantic, but, you know, if you look at, you know, if, if, if you look at the, the Parker piece, it's, it's a very strict blues form, you know? And, Blues is is a very regulated anything but free form, you know. Strict twelve strict standard chord progressions, you know, fairly standard melody rhythm, you know. So, you know, so you know, we're talking about a blues. We're not talking about a free form piece at all. And I think when you look at this poem, I think one as is it's not a blues. You know, it it is it, it, the, the you know the rhythms are irregular. Some of the the, the lines have four beats. Some of them have five. Um, you know, you have different rhythm uh, different rhythms. You have different lengths of stanzas. So it's it is a much more loose, free form. So okay, so what are we what are we really meaning? How are we connecting the two? If it's if this is blues for Alice, you know, if it what's the, what's the connection here? So. So, so what, I what I came up with, and this is admittedly not the strongest thing in the world, but it's a starting point, is you know the structure of of a jazz, and the same would go for blues or rock or most other popular music is you know, is exposition, uh, development, and recapitulation. You know, which basically means at first you state the theme. You know, you, you know, you hear the tune that everybody knows. And then, you, and then go you go back and you repeat that, that with everybody impro improvising on the theme before you come back, back restate the theme and close it up. So, so the first so the stanza, stanza, as I read this to me, you know, and I'm, I'm entering this question, I looked at this and, I'm, and what I'm seeing actually is sort of the, the initial exposition of the theme, you know, as if uh, Coolidge has sort of got his saxophone out and... He's just, He's just laying, laying out, out, okay, what what, what is the theme, theme that we're going to be playing with here? 
And, and you know, as I read, read the first stanza, stanza I'm not, I'm quite, not quite awake enough. I don't know if I can recreate my thinking a couple nights ago, but what, what, I was, what I was what I was hearing, and I'm not usually one to go for this, but I was seeing a, a metapoetic reading. You know, when you, you get, get on a try, try, try to, to connect, connect you're, you're trying to write based off another piece of work, work back. back. It's not the same. It's not going to. You're not going to have a literal reading of of Charlie Parker, but. Um, um, umpteen um, times the tenth part, part of the feature world. world. Yeah, I yeah, I don't remember where I was going with that, with that but in, but in in black, black in ink, in ink. and in back it's roses, roses it's foster nail, bite, bite rhyme, rhyme you know, sing, sing slang. slang. Talking, about talking about timbre here, here. A, song, a song, literally, literally a, song a song that teaches without, without travail, travail of the tale, tale without strict, strict narrative. narrative. Longing, longing live and singing, singing burn. burn. So, so just an, just idea, an idea to throw out there. I wonder what you guys make of that. I think I think the idea of getting it on a try is, is you, improvise, you improvise, or you excel at a certain part of a piece of music, and you go back to do it the same way again, and it's never quite the same ever again. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In life, in life that happens. We get in yeah. on yeah. we try something out, um, and we only get one shot at it. Mm -hmm. but there, are there are many tries in life, as there are many tries. In life. That's right, and, 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 and I think very taking it very literally, literally you know, you know it's I mean, it's improvisation is is very much that. I I have a very rough. I, I'm not a strong jazz, jazz improviser, but. You know, you know, I, I sort of have a rough idea of where I'm going with this, but where moment to moment, uh, you know, how I'm going to expose on the theme, I have no idea, you know, you know, am I going to, you know, am I going to throw in a bunch of sharps here and a couple of blue notes here, a couple of passing, I don't know, it's just, it just happens, you know, so, but, you know, you, while you're doing that, you just kind of have to just let it fly, you know. It's interesting, the, um, the, the, um, the, the first line, when you get in on a try, it almost suggests that you might not get in. But when you do, you never learn it back. So that there's, there's, there's a possibility within a possibility. One, you have to get in on the try, and then you have to make the best of it once you're, once you're in. I thought that was kind of interesting. I took some notes. Uh, it, it is. Go ahead, Mark. I was just, just, just going just to just uh, to an added thought on that. It's easy on a, on a, a skimming read to just kind of jump over that. that. And instead, instead of reading it as when you get in on a try, try, it's when I try, when I try mm. you know, you know, you know, you know which, which, which is the point that both of you made. made. So, so yeah, the, yeah the, I mean, it's, it is striking and rather significant, you know, the, the added if of if I get in when I try. And the, the, uh, the end of the sort of stanza, first stanza, uh, I thought it was interesting. Um, a song that teaches without travail of the tale, without the work. The song teaches without the travail of the tale. Uh, we talk a lot in Mapo about doing the work, but this, this makes a point of teaching without the travail. And, but um, what it really caught my eye, the one you longing live and singing burn. It's almost like there's a creation, but the creation brings about its own destruction. You you live for something that you long for, and then by singing it, by singing that song without travail, you burn it, you destroy it. So there's a, there's a, there's a creation and a destruction going back and forth, almost um, sure, sure. in the same stroke. Bring it back, Bring it to, back the to the musician, musician metaphor. metaphor. I mean, once, I mean, once you've played, you played that solo, that solo it's, gone. it's gone. It's, you know, you know poof. poof. I mean, unless somebody's, somebody's recording, recording it, but, you know, we're, you know, we're thinking about, about live jazz, jazz improvisation. improvisation, you know, you, you, you know, you've, you've, you've put, you've put in, in the work to create, to create this, piece. this piece, you're, you're doing it, it. You're, you're, you're playing it, you're playing this wonderful, wonderful amazing, amazing uh, you know, jazz, jazz solo, and when it's over, it's over, it's over. It's over. you know, you know burn, burn through it cleanly. Burn through it, you burn through the music, but also... It's, it's also, also the, the word burn, burn is playing, is playing off some other words like flare, flare in the poem as well. Which mm. yeah. Of higher wish than dare, yeah. Mm. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's proceed. I, um, it just so happens that the passage that that um, 
stood that jumped out for me was is the next passage that starts, um, but we remained. And I'll read the, the, the whole sort of grouping that, that I want to kind of put together and then talk about it. Um, but we remained that we, a clasp of the silence, you and I, all of tiny sphering rates back. I say to told wall back and back and leave my edge and add an L. Night is so enclosed, will never turn his page as I can be mine, will be yours to see all the people, the underneath livid reaching part and past of the lying buildings. The overreaching starts, stops and starts at in his head, in in her rhythm. The knowledge is past all of us. No, I'll stop there. Uh, but the, 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 um, the essence of the passage made me think about um, construction, made me think about architecture. And it kind of, mm -hmm. kind of took me back to something that we talked about earlier. Maybe it was with um, County Cullen in that long thread we had about um, some ideas that, that, um, that I sort of introduced. But it, about things being... Um, things that we see as institutions that are actually socially constructed. Anyway, to get back to the close reading of the poem, um, these words, I say to toe the wall back and back and leave my edge and add an L. That L makes me think about the, the perpendicular between the floor and the wall. Or it can be a, a, ups, an upside down L that's the perpendicular between the ceiling and the wall. But at any rate, it's an L. And the L is a is a is a uh, is an architectural uh, phenomenon, um, and immediately after, but not in the same stanza, he talks about night. Night is so enclosed, will never turn its page. Well, night is so enclosed makes me think about architecture because architecture, in a sense, and I'm not an architect. I've, I've just read some 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 little books and some pieces here, but architecture is like the art and science of enclosing space. I know I've heard that in a lecture somewhere. Uh, so the, fa the fact that he talks about night being so enclosed that will never turn its page makes me think about a structure, a building that encloses, encases, and, and encompasses. Uh, but then he goes on a little riff, he says, will never turn its page, it's I. So will never turn its page, oh, it's I. And this I can be mine, will be yours. There's a kind of a duality there of, of, uh, of, of two people possibly looking at a structure that encloses this, this night to see all the people. Um, what do y'all think? I like your, I like your take, on, take the on the architecture, architecture because, because if you if think, you think about, about when these guys are playing, are playing it's, at it's at night. At night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I, when I walk the streets, the streets and, and I go past, past bars, bars and there's some jazz music, music playing, playing, traditionally you walk downstairs to go into a basement. I don't know, I don't know if it was like that before, but that's, but that's what I get, get a sense of an enclosure. It's, it's in a basement, it's dark. It's it's dark. It's mm -hmm. it's that's, that's when they play their, play their, their, music. their music. That's right, that's right. And just, and just to add to that, too, the, the imagery for me is really vivid. Is, is you know just, just this particular line, line. to see, to see all, all the people, people the underneath livid, livid reaching part and past of the lying buildings. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know guys, you guys, but I get such a vivid image it's in, in my mind. mind. It's as, it's as if you know you, know, you, you sort of had a, 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 a sky view. You know, you're up in a helicopter or something, and you're flying over Manhattan or maybe Harlem, and but you can somehow. Like, like Superman, Superman have a 3D, 3D vision. vision. You can see all the the, the, the lives going, going on, thousands, thousands of people in the buildings underneath. underneath. You know, you can see what, what they're, they're doing and so on. And you know, so, so it's, it's you know, it's it's two o'clock in the morning and it's jazz clubs in Harlem or or, or what have you. And you know, and you know, and, you know, and then of course, you know, the, we add to the urban New York City, city image for me. You know, add the L, the elevated train. I don't know if they call it that there in Chicago now. So so. In Chicago, so when, I heard, when I heard the, I heard the word L, I was thinking train, train as well. As well. Mm. And then I also thought, add an L, and I went right back to the word edge. edge. For lead. Mm. Oh, I don't, I don't know if there's a play on yeah. Yeah. there. Or... Well, there's an L in yeah. Alice, too. And there's an L in yeah. Yeah. Coolidge. My yeah. yeah. There's several L's. What, what did y'all think about this construction <laughs> at in his head? In in her rhythm, the knowledge is past all of us. 
I think, I think there's, there's a play on white space, space there, there yeah. and we can see it throughout the stanzas in the poem. Yeah. Yeah. And particularly in this stanza, it really stands out for me, the improvisation. You get all of a sudden in the middle of the stanza, what's holding it together is are the three words in her rhythm. And that seems like there's a, I like to look at white space in a poem. So there seems to be some kind of pause in there. I don't know if it's a pause in music or what, but I'm also looking at the pronouns. And I think her in, in her rhythm is actually talking about music. Wise and wheeze are talking about people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you know, and, and, and again, I come at it from the, the musician angle where, um, you know, you know again, again, this isn't, this isn't so much, much uh, uh, you know, Parker's blues, blues for Alice, Alice here, here, but Bebop, but Bebop is, is so characterized by irregular rhythms and, and time, time signature changes and so, and so on. So, you know, we're cruising along in our 4 4 blues beat, you know, the first half of the stanza, and then it's in her rhythm, boom. We just all of a sudden, we you know, a quick syncopatic change of time signature. So, you know, you know, it's for me, for me it's, it's so suggestive, so suggestive of beat pop jazz. jazz. Yeah. Just one little thing is yeah. uh, it goes back to to the very, very beginning. And, and I'm not going to talk long because it's, it's your turn, Colleen. I'm not going to take your turn. <laughs> uh, do, man. Is, Go for it. It's interesting that um, because, Mark, you mentioned that the, the title of the poem is Blues for Alice. And we know the history of blues for Alice. It goes back to the bird tune, and and it, it right, sort right. of ties the uh, the concept to a sort of uh, lineage that goes, you know, that cuts across time to that that source, that origin, and comes back to the present. But yet and still, despite the fact that the title is blues, the poem is anything but blues. You mentioned this. You mentioned this. Anything but. Um, it's, it's, it's jazz, it's, 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 and the blues is anything but free form, and this poem is total free form. So there's a there's a contradiction that's set up from the very beginning, and I'm wondering. I would I would disagree. I don't think, think I would not say, I would not say that, it, that I think there is a structure very deep in it. Again, again analogous, analogous way, and, um, and um, the way the way a jazz, way a jazz improviser, improviser has, has structure, structure and form very fairly, very, deep, fairly deep down, down into it. You know, you know, so. I think, that, I think it that it is freeform. Free right? It is certainly freer, freer than, the blues. than the blues did. Yes, but, but they call it blues. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So that, it's, so it's free in terms. Of, it's free in terms of them doing, doing improv, improv, but then you've got to harken back the to the chords you need to know, the notes you need to know, all that stuff. That's exactly right. You know. You know. Now, it is sort of. Learn to, learn to play jazz, jazz which, again, which again, I'm not very good at. I'm not going to claim that I can do it very well. You know, you when, you when you learn to do it, of course, you learn the nuts and bolts, you learn the chords, you learn the scales, and so on. And then to actually learn how to do this well in an artistic way, I mean, you know, one of the things that, that you know, music students do is they will go and they will take down and they'll even note by note transcribe a solo like. You know, birds, you know, birds blues, blues for Alice. That's actually, that's actually a very, very common, common one they do. And they'll, and they'll break, break it down, down note by note. note. Okay, this, this is a chord tone. tone. This is a passing tone. This is the one that's leading into this chord here. here. This, is this is the function of this note here. And you're talking about hundreds of notes, notes you know? So, so, you know, they read, they read it and at, at least to find the detail as we do one of these poems. Okay, so... Colleen, it's your turn. Okay. okay. So, I so I guess I'll go down to the, to the next stanza, stanza which is step, step down, down off our whelm lessons and shortly fired. Enter, enter the bristle strum of corrosion kingdom, kingdom where the last comes by first ever ring, ring. Every, every race, race through that tunnel of sun drop and pencil and glare of higher, higher wish, wish than dare. dare. Um, um, that, that whole stanza, stanza if we step, if we step off, off our whelm lessons, lessons, to me, it's, it's there's, a there's a certain flow and a certain, and a certain speed, speed that's, being that's being played, played and they're and stepping, stepping down. down. That's, that's kind of what, kind of what it, 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 sounds it sounds like to me. Like to me. And, and, and shortly fired is also another musical term. term. But, but I, don't I don't know what Corrosion Kingdom is. Anyone have an idea? 
Where, where, where's Clark Coolidge from? New England. Someone said in one of the talks. Okay. Okay. What what occurred to me, and and this is probably way off base because he's not from around there. You know, I mean, and this poem was from the early '80s, correct? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and so you know, when I heard corrosion kingdom, I was thinking of the Rust Belt. You know, you know Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, places, places like, like that, that. You know, the old where the old steel mills were that by the seventies were sort of drying up and, and, and literally, literally rusting and corroding themselves. themselves. So, so, you know, you know, I don't know how much of that was. Well, well I, I mean, I suppose you know, you know again, if I'm carrying the New York City, City uh, uh, motif, uh, motif that's, that's running through my head, you know, urbanized city, well, urbanized American city. You know, the, you know, the, the late 70s, 70s early 80s, 80s, 80s were hard times. times. You know, the, uh, you know, the, the economy the industry was, was not, was not <laughs> it was corroding, corroding you know. So, 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 so is that, you know, is, you know, is, is, is that, you know, uh, uh, America? Is that, uh, it's interesting. He capitalized the corrosion kingdom, so it's a, it's a proper noun. It must be. That's right. That's right. It, it, it must be a reference to something, and I'm looking at the sentence. Yeah. yeah. Stepped down off our whelm lessons and surely fired, into the bristle strong I, I, of corrosion kingdom. Mm. You know, you know, I, I grew up. I, I, you know, I was, I was probably 10, 11 years, years old when this poem was written, and I was growing up on the south side of Chicago, Chicago and you could easily describe the corrosion kingdom with all the, all the, the closed factories, factories. You know, the the, the urban decay and and that. Like, now, like, now, have you gone into those old factories and practice, practice, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe. Well, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if yeah. Sam would have been like in a, in, yeah. in yeah. a space yeah. like that. Bristle yeah. strong. Yeah. Well, well, and even if, if we take, yeah. Yeah. Even if we take, even if we take it from there, there just, I'm, you know, I'm just, just kind of running with this. You know, you know, you could, you could look at, at you know, hey, not, not just, you know, just, know, just in the factories, but all the, you know, everything that goes down from that, you know. Um, you know, the, you know, the, the, the economic, economic decay of the, you know, the, you know, the outlying areas, areas, the other, you know, the, you know, the small businesses, businesses and, you know, I mean, you know, I, mean I have a particular image of, you know, again, this is from my own childhood, childhood of, of around, around 87th, 87th and Halstead in, in, in Chicago, back in the, and all the, you know, the, the buildings there that were, you know, literally decaying and rusting and, you know, vacant and, um, you know, you know, again, again this, this is, is very, very evocative, evocative for me of that sort of urban, urban decay. decay. Which is, I guess, which is, I guess the, the kind of places where you would have found, you know, jazz, jazz you know? know? This, uh, this kind uh, of anyway, so. I like, I like some, some of the sounds, the sounds in this stanza as well. well. Strum and yeah. kingdom, yeah. rhyme. Um, you, you get some kind of play off of ever ring, every race. And I like the the... Pencil, pencil in the margins, the margins. When, you're, when you're when you're when you're playing music, music and you've, and you've got, got to write something in on your sheet of paper it's got to be in pencil, pencil and it's usually in the margins yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and then there's, and then there's that, that word flare again, again. Think, a think a higher wish than dare, dare can, can kind of go back, back to the word flare mm. yeah, yeah very much this can also be and, sl and, slightly metapoetic pencil uh, th this is a this could be about composition um, pencil yeah, yeah. in the margins of a flare. The flare is the sort of lighting up of a thing, of an idea. Uh, and on the it's margins sure. of, the, of that idea, you're writing in pencil. Um, yeah, and the, yeah. the thought that, that you're writing on the margin of that flame is a higher wish than a dare. Mm. This, I think, is very yeah. metaphoric about the, the composition process yeah, itself. Yeah. It's two lines. Two lines. The, stroke the stroke calming... calming. And shine in blue quicks of a dream blues. blues. You know, I mean, I mean that, yeah, that's, 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 that's I mean, that's writing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and the chores refers to the work of writing. Mm. It also, it also, a little bit as a mystery I had of why are we calling this a blues if it's not a blues, you know, it's a dream blues. This is, uh, this is my fantasy of the, this is how I would write if I was writing like Charlie Parker. Mm. And, and this is this, this we'll probably, probably talk about in a little in a little in a few, in a few minutes, minutes, minutes or so. Um, but, um, but the blues, the blues is pluralized here, here. by blue quicks. It's still, it's still the blue is still plural. plural. Right. right. Mm. Blues. 
not, not the, singular the singular word, word but we'll probably, we'll get, probably to get to that, that in a little bit. bit. Did anybody look up crinulations? I've got my dictionary here. I should have looked it up. It obviously, it obviously strikes you. I didn't look though. Does anybody, well, it, it reminds, sure does anybody know what it means? It, it, well, to <laughs> me, it means the guy who's playing the trumpet or playing the sax in that quartet that we heard when we listened to Blues for Alice by Charlie Parker. Yeah. It just, it just reminds, reminds me of the irregular, irregular kind of wavy, wavy riffing, riffing music. That's what, That's it, means what it means to me. Uh, yeah. I, 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 mean, I like the idea. Of the the past, 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 you know, they're whispering to me. Then they're, they're, they're whispered perennialations and they're gone. So it's sort of the memory of it, the fantasy of it. I've got it in the dictionary. Of course, crenulation is a minute crenation. The state of being crinulate, so we have to look up crenation. Crenation is <laughs> <laughs> the dictionary. Uh, crenate formation, <laughs> of course. One of the rounded projections of an edge. The quality of state of being <laughs> Having the margin cut into rounded scallops. So it's the idea of something jagged being smoothened, being smoothed on the edges oh. in a rounded kind of way. Of those whispering grown gong crinulations. Hi, Annika. Hi, Annika. Annika. We can see you, Annika. We can hear you. You have your mute button on. Sure. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. You're up. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we, so we all just we, we can figure anything out. We need you to tell us what this poem means. <laughs> Go. <laughs> are, are you going to tell you what the poem means? I, I was looking up crenulations yesterday. <laughs> I said, what are those? Yeah, we were, yeah, we were just talking about We were just about, talking about crenulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a it's a nice word. I have no idea what's going on. I was like, I hope these smart guys can help me. That's what Ray's here for. Well, we, we looked it up in the dictionary. We found right, out that right. crenulation is the idea of something having jagged edges and being rounded. On the on the edges, and, and the, the the process of rounding and smoothing out those edges is crenulation. Okay. Okay. I wonder, I wonder if there are some stress and non stress syllables in that line. Um, I wonder if it goes. Uh, uh, no, the, maybe no, maybe not. not. Uh, of those whispering uh, gone crenulation. No, no, there's, there's not stress non stress in there, is there? Well, well kind, kind of. of. You know, you know what, what I hear, I hear when I hear that. that? And it's, and it's striking where it is at the end of the poem. You know, again, I come, I, I'm more coming at this more as a musician than a poet. But I'm hearing an ending of a phrase. I'm hearing a rhythm that says, "Okay, we're we're wrapping up here." You know, sort of feel like breaks are getting put on. Which course of, of those whispering gone, gone crenulations. Crenulations, crenulations, crenulations particularly so sounds so final as opposed, as opposed to the way some of these other lines. Step, step off our whelm lessons and shortly fire to enter the bristle from the corrosion kingdom. See how they just each line leads into the next. Yeah. But then you, but then get, you get to up, gone, gone crenulation. There's a finality. Boom. boom. Mm. It's, it's just. So, so that's when the music ends? Well, well I, I mean, it could be. It could be. It's, you know, um, it's, it's not, not. I don't think it's. I'm no expert, I'm no expert in jazz, jazz, of course. It's not, it's not necessarily, necessarily, I mean, I mean as, you're as you're going into a coda, I mean, you could easily run into sort of a, a, a moment where you have a fermata or grand pause where, where your point can just stop for a moment. Or you pause. And you go right into a maybe, you know, to meet a care, to the vow, redeem, you know. Like, um, the, the, musically, that comes to my mind, it's obviously not jazz, but it's, uh, uh, so sort of is, is the end of the Sorcerer's Apprentice by Paul Dukas. Dukas. It, you know, it's the piece that Mickey Mouse is, you know, is, is, is he's got, got made, made all the brooms and the sorcerer has to come, come clean it up. I don't know if you've, you've seen that, that clip from Fantasia. From Fantasia. <laughs> you've been building, building, and building, and building, and all of a sudden the 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 uh, sorcerer just kind of claps his hands. And, and makes, makes every, all the, the water and the brooms and everything go away, and you have a moment of silence just, just to shock, shock the audience before you go into this very quiet, quiet coda. And this, and this musically strikes me like that. 
Mm. So you just so went Disney, Disney on us. I did. I did. I did. I did. So, so. <laughs> I'm so proud. Where, where, where were you guys? Where were you guys at in the poem? Where, where were you in? We're at, we're, we're at the we're last at line, whispering gone crazy. We, oh, you, we, oh, you are there. Last, okay. The second last stanza. Yeah. 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 I see. Yeah. Um, you know. You know what I didn't, I didn't get was, was the, the background of this piece. piece. Like, does, like anyone, does anyone know what it, what it came out of? Yeah, can, can you say a little bit more? I was saying, does anyone, anyone know what inspired this poem? This poem? Well, I think, I mean, on a very literal level, I think we're, I mean, I think the assumption is that, that he's drawing inspiration from uh, the Charlie Parker piece, Blues for Hours. Right, yeah, yeah, that's right, okay. I think, I think you're right, there's a lot more to that, so. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right, I want to take it off that name. I was yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And we, we talked, we spoke just, I mean, that's certainly We spoke just briefly about the, the whole idea of, the lineage between the sort of um, jazz of Charlie Parker and the poetry of the beats. And I think it, it could be that Clark Coolidge is making a tie between Bird and Kerouac, so to speak, by, yeah, yeah. <laughs> by calling this obvious jazz poem a blues. And we still haven't figured out who Alice is. And in one of the um, poem talks, there's, there's, there's a suggestion that it's Alice Coltrane and someone else says it's Alice Notley. And there's even a third Alice, Alice in Wonderland. So it's, yes, <laughs> yes, that's that. I think it reads yes. yes. for Alice Coltrane, but it reads like Alice in Wonderland. Yes, I agree. Yes. <laughs> I, I, and, and it doesn't have to be exclusive, of course. It can be. It can be what? It can be what? Yeah, yeah. It's probably, it's probably not, not for Alice, for Alice Cooper, Cooper, I think. So. Not, I don't think it's Alice Cooper. Well, who knows? So, Anika, uh, each of us has Alice each of us has highlighted Cooper. a passage, and and mm -hmm. we we'd like you to talk about a passage that 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 strikes you. My sound, sound is kind of messing up a little bit. You're 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 being Sonica. There you go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Can you hear me, Annika? Yeah, I can hear you. Ray was he, he was just asking. He said each of us has sort of highlighted a particular uh, uh, portion or a stanza or a line that sort of caught your attention. Oh, I, I, I can tell you the last, the last stanza for me. Perfect. Yeah, we haven't got there. So perfect. Yeah. So what you got? Okay, okay um, just hold on, let me get back to it because I'm reading it from my phone. Sure, sure. Um, um, you know, new times. Yep. I, didn't, I don't have a printer. So I wasn't able to um, download it um, again. Well, while you're looking for it, I'll read it out loud. So. Okay. To me to care is to dial redeem and we limp in the time sound balms. So out of kilter is my name and in the sun. And I, win and I win in the moon, and you sing in that other spelling of win. The way of is never, never singular. Mm. Mm. That's, that's, that's my favorite line. In the moon, and you sing in that other spelling of win. The way of blue is never singular. I thought that was so bad. I was like, oh. Yeah, I agree. What is the other spelling of win? There's another spell? Oh. To the first word of the poem. When? Hmm. When. When. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> when, when you get in on a try, you never learn it back. And then, and then the, the other spelling, spelling of win. That's that's cool. cool. It, is. It, is. it is. It is. It ties it all you up. Know what I how do, How do you sing in when? when? Well, no, I, I, here I just I can answer my own question. Okay, okay go. That other spelling when you get in on a try, when you when you jump in with the band, or when you sit down with that paper and you try to create, you know. Oh, the way of blue is never singular. So does that maybe imply that it can't just be one guy playing one instrument? It's got to be like maybe a quartet or a duet. 
can't be, can't be playing the blues, blues by himself, by himself or, am or am I just totally overstretching, overstretching that? that? Oh, no, no, I think you're on something. Or something. I, would, I, would, I would expand on that, that maybe it's, it's not, I mean, certainly somebody can just pick up their jazz, you know, their saxophone or, or you know, I can pick up my guitar and there could be nobody around in the house and I can just play, right? But, but. I think, I think when you're talking about the act of creation, creation music, music or writing, writing or what have you, is not, is not a singular act. act. The, the, the creation, creation even, if even if there isn't an audience, audience present, present, there's an implied audience. audience. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's just, just, to, throw just to throw it out there. I think, I there's, think there's an audience. An audience. I mean, because it's it's set at night time and, and it's set in buildings like the underneath livid region park we see the people in there and past of lying buildings it's almost like the buildings laid that have have lain down or, or, i can't say this word are lying down and they're going to sleep while the people are busy playing yeah yeah think of that, 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 that i got my back to my new york image you know and, and um, think of it, think of it, it's, it's, it's a trope, trope in how many movies, you know, where they, you know, the camera pans over the city at night and, and, so, on. and so on. And somewhere in one of the apartments, you hear, you hear some guy practicing a saxophone, you know, in you know? that image. And that, that, that kind of screams that for me. It's like he may be playing for himself, but, you know, the rest of the world is his audience, you know, or the rest of Manhattan or whatever. We're all hearing it, you know. You can't do it all. And I, like and I like the way that, way that sun, sun kind of kind of means to me that, me that it, it, there, there, that that he's, he's out of kilter in the daytime, and, and the, moon the moon to me means that he does just fine at night. Like, thank you. Like I don't, I don't need the sun. The sun I, need the moon, I need the moon. I need the nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. Play my, Play my blues. blues. Let me let me just, let me just throw this out there. It's a question I don't really think about. Is I I think you're on. I think I like what you're saying there. So. But it's, but it's not, not he doesn't say, so out of kilter am I in the sun. Mm. He says, so out of kilter is my name in the sun. Mm. You know? Yeah. 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 Why is it because he's cool? What's that? What's that? Is it because he's cool, Coolidge, and the sun is hot, warm? Is it that literal? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. But there's also, there's also the name of the poem. Blues for Alice, which is out of kilter with the tone of the poem, which is jazz. Because, because that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, blues, the blues can, you know, jazz, know, jazz and blues, blues can, can certainly harmoniously, harmoniously coexist, as Charlie, Charlie Parker, Parker proves so very well with his piece. But, but, but we've, we've already said this isn't a blues, so it, so is, it is out of kilter. So, uh, so. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. A random, a random, there's, there's, there's a, random a random association that probably is not relevant here, but I'll just throw it out there because, you know, the only other time I can think of, I'm not the most read, well read guy in the world or whatever. The only other time I can think of that kind of association where someone is describing themselves by their name is, is actually from the Rolling Stones. Uh, um, what's that song? It's escaping me. Uh, oh, Street Fighting Man, where, where, where. Jagger, Jagger sings, well, I don't have my guitar down here, so I would. So, I would. so but, Jagger but Jagger sings, my name is called Disturbance. disturbance. You know? You know? Mm. It's not saying, you know, I'm disruption. disruption. My name is Disturbance. disturbance. You know? There's something how, you know, my identity is. is. So, 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 I mean, if, with that sort of I, if that sort of application here, I wonder if there's anything at all. I, my, out of kilter, my name, my name oh, I, guess I guess there's, that doesn't add a whole lot. So. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe, 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 maybe it does. How about, how about does, the does the name symbolize, symbolize something then? then? Like, Jag like Jagger, yeah, yeah he, he does, does represent disturbance. disturbance. He does, he does symbolize, symbolize disturbance. disturbance. Right. I was looking at the. I was looking at that reading that line in context with the above line. So so I, so out of kilter is my name in the sun, and I win. And but above is and we limp in the time, and we and we limp in the time sound, bombs. And I wanted to just just connect those two connect those two lines to what you just brought up about disturbance. Mm. Because, because I'm looking, I'm looking at, at time disturbs. disturbs. If you, if you keep, keep the New York City, York City 
if you keep, if you keep the New York City, City um, image in, you know, New, you know, New York, York is loud. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there, there are all the, you know, you know you, depending, depending on, on how you're thinking and what you want to do, you can just be hit with a barrage of noise and stimuli and, and not be able to think. think. So, so you're, you're limping, limping along, along and you're also, you're also, you're also out, out of kilter. kilter. Like, I'm thinking that my name is so out of kilter. I also do think it is himself. Like, he is his name. So, and sure. he's, not, he's, not, he's not, he's not, he's having, he's having some, some trouble fitting in the, in the ordinary, ordinary moment. moment. So, he so he makes, so he, so he, so he, so he creates the unusual, the unusual to, fit to fit in, in which, is, which at is at night with the moon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I so I was just kind of connecting. connecting. I didn't, I didn't see, see that line out of um, context with the above line. Yeah. yeah. Just, just to add on it, I, 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 I like, I like that reading. Just, just to add on it, it's like he doesn't just fit in at night; he wins. Mm-hmm. Right. But there's, there's, there's you know, also this interplay between the moon and the sun. What's that all about? The moon is calming, right? The moon is the moon is calm, and that's when sound becomes a bomb. Because I was looking at it as. Ordinarily, ordinarily sound, sound it would be sound bombs B O M S. But in this, in this context, context where he's able to, to you know, because, you know, because it goes from night, night to day, or at least the way the, the that, 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 that stanza reads, reads like it's going, going from night, night into, into day. Because um, um, at the end, end you, you would picture him, him or, or someone, someone he's describing playing music, playing the blues. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Annika. No, that's okay. Who's, who's heard of a blue sun? Right? Right? Oh, blue, oh, blue sun. Blue, blue moon. Right? Right? Ah. And you have, and you have, and you have different blues in the sky. So you have the bright blue sky, and then you have the deep blue sky at night. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, I win in the blue moon. You know, I mean, there's this strong associations between popular music with the blue moon. I mean, you know, they have the old jazz standard, or the, you know, that you know, it's eventually made into a rock and roll thing. But, but you know, you know, also, you know, the blue moon. You know, the the you know the full moon. Yeah. So I just take it as you know, he's an art. You know, he's an artist, and artists aren't. You know, you know, artists can be can be awkward. You know, they, you know, don't, they don't fit in, in with the other, you know, 90% of the world. Mm-hmm. And um, he, he finds, finds ways to soothe, to soothe himself, himself with, language with language and with music. And, music and, and, that, and, we, and we limp in the time, in the time sound bombs. Like it's like we're trying to get along <laughs> until we can find our rightful place to really, to really express who we are, who we are truly. truly. Mm. And bombs does mean soothing, so that 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 works. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. There's a there's a thought that sort of it hasn't fully formed in my head. Maybe if I just start speaking, it'll come together. But and this kind of goes a little bit what we were talking about last night. You know, if we're if we're sort of conceptualizing this as verbal bebop. Um, you know, you know, I mean, the origin of bebop, we were, we were sort of talking about last night, and, and you know, I can, you know, I can be a little off base here, but where, where, where bebop came from in the first place is when um, you, you had sort of a strong core group of African-American musicians who had their own music, which was jazz, you know, it, you know, it developed from... You know, the, you know, the, the sort, sort of, of the, the, blue the blue note itself well, developed. It, was, it was, comes from and uh, you know, you know, an, an African tradition, tradition that goes back hundreds of years, years not, not longer. You know, um, you know, you know, you had a period in in, in say the thirties and the forties where there was there was encroachment on that. You know, and the the, the more successful you know big bands and so on were the bands like Benny Goodman and. You know, you know, Glenn, Glenn Miller, Miller, while they were very talented, talented you know, they're also, there's, 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 there's an cultural appropriation there. element there. So, so what, what happened was, is some of the, you know, the more refined, stronger jazz musicians started looking for their own vocabulary, their own way to sort of take it back, you know, it's sort of a way of, saying, okay, guys, you think you can play this music, try this, let's see if you can keep up with us, you know. 
Um, and, so and so they created a music that sounded to the mainstream very out of kilter, very sort of, I mean, if you come to Bebop for the first time and you're listening to to Coltrane, you know, the irregular scales, the irregular time signatures, and you're listening and going, what the heck is this? You know, it is very out of kilter and very... Seemingly, seemingly almost, almost random, random free, free form without, without structure, structure although you know, as, you know, as I, said I said earlier there's there's, there's embedded, embedded with it a very detailed and very you know you know fairly fairly rigid, rigid structure, structure. You, know, you know um where was where it going, was it going? <laughs> so, so the birth um, of bebop yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And it's, well, I was connecting, connecting it to the to mentioning the, mention the out of kilter, not, not just you know him personally, personally but, but but sort of you know that, you know, that whole tradition of, of jazz that he's, that he's drawing upon. Charlie, here. Charlie Parker is obviously firmly, firmly in that tradition, you know. You know? Mm. Um, uh, there, uh, there, I had a point there somewhere. somewhere. I don't know what it was <laughs> anymore. The the question that raises in my mind. I'm glad that that um that you that you brought that point up, Mark. Is that if if th if that happened in jazz that gave birth to bebop, is it possible that something is happening in hip hop music today? Because hip hop started off as something that was sort of um, uh, exclusive, and it became something that sort of became that sort of grew out and became unex uh, unexclusive. In fact, inclusive of a lot of different things. And it, is there a possibility that there's a new generation of Hip hop artists who are going to take that core and make it into their own personal vocabulary. I wonder if that if that evolutionary movement is taking place. Just I, like I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's, I, I think there's no doubt about that. It has, it has in terms of dance and in terms of films. It went, it went from, from being street, street dance, dance to, to appearing, appearing in big movies. movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that when you when you're talking about rap and when you're talking about rap and uh, hip hop, you are automatically talking about invented language and um, off kilter. Speaking of off kilter rhythm, um, beats, but it and, and beats, but it falls. But but I think that there's been a smooth evolution from it. Like it didn't spring out of nowhere because. If you, if you read this poem, poem, poem if you go to, to if we look, we look at back at the Beats Week, week um, we look at, we look at Gil Scott Heron, and, all, and all, of, all, of all of them were fermented, fermented in jazz, jazz, and I don't think that, that hip-hop hip -hop is any different. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think, I think just, just to, and, and again, I'm still riffing on this, this line, of line of thinking here, but I think, you know, I think we're on to something here. You know, it's something, you know, it's something that we hadn't highlighted here is, is, the, is the issue of cultural appropriation, appropriation and race, race you, know? you know. I think, you know, when we talk about the beats, by and large, I mean, I suppose, you know, and, you know, we talk about Amir Baraka, but, um, you know, you know, by and large, I mean, we're talking about, you know, uh, you know, about Caucasian poets, you know, we talk about Ginsburg, we talk about Kerouac, you know. Um, we're not even, it's really not very culturally diverse, not even for the most part, at least. Talking, talking about, about many women poets, poets there obviously, obviously were, were you know, you know that's, that's not to minimize that, that but and so, and I, so I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, you know, if this is, is you know, you know, mm, uh, again, it's not, not well developed in my head. I'm not sure where it's going, but before, before I actually heard Coolidge's voice, you know, you know and as I read this, I actually, the voice I heard in my head was, was Ginsburg, you know, you know, and, you know, you know, if we're, if we're talking, talking about, about sort of reclaiming a cultural appropriation, appropriation you know, I mean, if, if you know, if we play with this idea of the beats sort of, sort of doing cultural this cultural appropriation of, of taking, taking jazz, jazz and using it for their own, perhaps, perhaps Coolidge is sort of reestablishing that, that in a way, you know, given, given giving this, this, sound, this sound, this poetry, his own, his own cultural slant on it. Mm. Um, you know, you know, a couple of months ago, I mean, I talked about Jimi Hendrix doing the same thing, thing right? right? You know, with you know, the, uh, you know, the, the, the seventh, the uh, sharp, sharp, ninth, ninth or, or what have you, you know. You know, um, you know what you know I, I wanted, wanted to say about cultural, cultural appropriation? appropriation. So, on, so the on the one hand, hand you, can you can look at, at especially being a, a 
being, being a black, black woman, woman and, and being, being in conversations where this comes up a lot, where people say, oh, oh this, is this is what we've always, always been doing, right? That's, right? that's a line that's, that's always, that comes, that comes after a conversation around race, race and cultural appropriation. Another, Another way, way I, I look at it, though, is, is when you, when you have, have something like jazz, jazz and blues, and then you have spoken word, and you have hip-hop, it's cool. Like, this poet, um... Hachi Mabuti, when he when his when his name was um, Donnell Lee, when his when his name was Donnell Lee, he wrote he wrote his poem called cool, cool or we be cool, cool or something like that. Like that. And, and mm -hmm. I just I just think that this that these, that these spaces these are, these, are, these creative spaces this music is so rich it's and so it's so magnetic, magnetic and, and you just want to be in it. Okay. So, yeah. so I think it'd be very difficult if you're an artist, regardless of what race you are, to to stay away from it, to not want to get in and experiment. And you just have to you have to you have to try to go into the you have to go into that difficult you have to crawl through that difficult trammel, so to speak. You have to just accept the consequences of of the of the of the of of Quote, quote, racial reactions. reactions. Mm. You know, if, you know, if you're, you're a non, if you're a non, if you're a non, if you're a non, if you're a non black, black, and you're having that, um, you're having, you're having that, that discussion. Like you're, 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 you feel, you feel like, like, oh, people, people feel, people like, feel like, like, oh, we're not, um, you're not, you're not supposed to be doing, doing it, right? right? But, I but I just think, think that artists are attracted to everything that 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 is that is beautiful and that is different. And oh, and part, of part of it. So, so when you when, you, when, I, read when, poem, <clears throat> when I read this poem, when I read this poem, I I, I hear someone who is really, really trying, trying to construct, to construct a blues, blues piece in in, in, a, in a tradition of jazz, of jazz, and, of, jazz, of jazz and blues artists. artists period. period. And, and you know. You know Cultural, cultural uh, he like was like cultural appropriation, a cultural appropriation, be damned, basically. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, and, and I want to make sure. I mean, I'm not, and I'm not saying that one should have that attitude. I'm just coming from the perspective of an of an artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I think you're exactly right. And I think right, I, I certainly don't mean to suggest that he's sort of appropriating jazz culture. I think quite the opposite. It's sort of taking it back from the the, the you know the dominant. Um, you know, you know the, the dominant, dominant culture, culture which has sort of taken this and and, and appropriated it from it and he's taking it back and saying no this is ours, ours. This, this is my culture this is mine and you know what i win in the moon when i when i when i do this you know you know by by creating and and being true to myself who i am i win and I just and I just I just find that this is such a wonderful, wonderful powerful sort of moment. I love that right there. I also, I also take the I also take, take that, that line, that line just, just how the blue is never singular, singular mm -hmm. is you no know, people's woes, people's travails, people's issues. You're not alone, alone in that. Yeah, yeah. I, like I like that. that. I'm going to take advantage of this point too, um, to jump us off into the uh, final word round. And, uh, and I like to start with that last line, the, the way of blue is never singular in, 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 in terms of a final word. Uh, one of the things that, that uh, I'll mention in the uh, webcast last week was how um, he, I can't remember the exact construction, but he talked about how um, when you're marginalized and you go all the way out on the edge of that marginalization, then you find other people in the process of going out there and in the process of coming back, you find other people who've made that same trip. And so there's a, you find that you're not alone. There is a, a, a community. Um, the way a blue is never singular also, to me, speaks to the idea that, um, as Anika said, you're never alone. And also that art is not made in a vacuum. It's always made um, at a minimum um, with, in, a, in a duet, if you will, uh, with two people. And in that regard, a blue is never singular in the term of the term of art, the blues, because you never talk about a blue, you talk about the blues. It's always plural. Uh, it's always more than one. Um, and so I'll pass the final word baton on to the next person. Ms. Colleen. Me? Me? 
I just want to go back to the first line. When you get in on a try, you never learn it back. I think we've all gotten our, we've all had a try at this poem. If we were to talk about it in a couple more days, we probably have, we probably have another take on it. We'd never get this kind of experience back again. That's my profound statement. Very profound. Anika. Um, so, so <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I go I back to, to I, guess I guess this is the third, third stanza, stanza because this, because is, this where is where I was really trying to feel, feel what, he what he was saying. saying. But, but we demand that we clasp of the, the silence, you and I, and I all of tiny. tiny. Steering makes back, I say, to told wall back, back and, back, and back, back and leave my edge, my edge and add an L. Add an L. <laughs> and I read that, read that as, as, wow, wow this, oh, this, this, this guy, guy is, is a, a trickster. trickster. Like, like the, 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 he's, the, he's the Riddler. Um, of the deep. the deep. That's how That's I took it. Like, like he's he's the, he's the, riddler, the riddler of the deep. deep. Like this this poem, this poem comes, comes from, from the bottom, the bottom of the ocean, ocean where you where don't, don't know what creatures, creatures are there. And, and I think it was, it was written to to, to what Colleen just said, said to come back, come back to and. and Find, find a whole nother story. story. You know, we're, you know, we're, we're here, here close reading and creating a story around, around it. And I think, and I think it, was it was written to, to change. change. Mm. I think it I think was written, written to, to, keep, to, keep, to keep changing. That is that not, it's not, it's not it's static. Not static. Mm. And that and is, so, so that is why my favorite line is the way a blue is never singular. Because this 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 poem, poem literally, literally with its with its, with its number, number of stanzas, stanzas the, the repeated, repeated words, words you know you know blue is repeated, repeated blue is repeated, repeated a few a times, few times. Um, <clears throat> the, sounds, the sounds the words the words may be different, different but the sounds, sounds are similar even though it doesn't rhyme it's supposed it is it, 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 an, an instruction manual on how, on how to, to Keep, keep uh, expansion, expansion fluid. fluid. So that's so what that's I what like I like about this. That, 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 my, my final, final word, word on it is, is that, that <clears throat> always remember, always remember no matter how you read this poem, this poem it's always, always going to change, gonna change your, mind. your mind. Mm. Mark, final, final, final word. Okay, okay. Just, just to follow on what uh, what, you uh, what you've just said. said. You know, you know, this, uh, this is the line that, that struck me as you were speaking. Uh, we'll, never we'll never turn its page. Its, its eye can be mine, will be yours. Mm. Right, right. We'll, never we'll never turn the page. We will never close the book. We will never, we'll never be done. done. We're going to keep, keep creating. creating. We're going to keep reading. reading. We're going to find new ways, ways of looking at, 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 at this. We're going to hear Charlie Parker in new ways and be able to connect this to this work with others. And that process never stops. This, 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 it's I can, I can be mine, will be yours. As I'm creating, as I'm writing, as I'm creating music, you know, I can, I can give you that window into to my experience. We can share and communicate, and that never stops. We'll never turn the page. I dig that. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, y'all. It's been it's been a little bit over an hour, so we're going to um, we're going to close out here. Um, I'm going to uh, figure out how to upload this to YouTube. Um, I'll send you all a, a, a link to it. Maybe I'll keep it private. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go public. I'll, I'll, I'll take it public. I'll send you all a link. We'll send it to Mod Pope Pen, and we'll be, we'll be movie stars. These guys deserve their day, their day in the sun. So That's right. So thank you all for participating. Make you I, I, I appreciate yeah, everybody's support. Um, maybe we'll do this again before Mod Pope is over. Let's. Yeah, let's. let's. I'd, I'd love to do it again. So, so let's, let's at least be talking about which one we might want to do next. I would love to, to, to keep doing these. Yeah. yeah. This, was this was challenging. Let's do the whole. 
Oh, the whole mod book was curriculum. Hold on now. When would, we, when, would, when would we eat? You won't have time to do anything else. That's right. No problem. Okay, once again, thank y'all. Um, I'm going All to. All right, thank you. I'm going to close out and figure out how to download this thing. I got to be at work at eleven. Thanks, thanks, Rain. All right, see y'all soon. Thanks for hooking this up. Certainly, certainly. See y'all. All right. All right. See, see you.